Hey there, YouTubers, viewers, subscribers, and non-subscribers. RoseRed17 here, and welcome to my channel. This is the review video of Eden Zero, Volume 26, Chapters 222 to 230. Now, you would think we would have recaps of all the previous chapters before this one, but that is not the case. For example, how Shiki and Rebetta met each other was slightly different from before. Another fact is, Happy is not a machine. He's an ordinary cat, and the two of them meet Weiss differently as well. But there is more. Shiki decided to leave the island due to the fact that the robots were running low on ether and wanted Shiki to leave to save him from the pain of loneliness. However, in this universe, the robots are going to live for another thousands of years because Ziki created a device that recycles the ether, which makes Shiki very happy. But wait, there's more. Instead of getting Eden Zero ship from Elsie, they get it right here at Grand Bell. And I say the best for last. After saying the goodbyes, Shiki and Rebecca depart into space and once Shiki sat in the chair and activated the Proto A7 with his ether gear, we get the return of Witch. Even though it wasn't really much of a surprise that she came back because, you know, time traveling, but I'm still proud to see her again. I'm not the only one. Shiki and Rebecca embraced her and smiled as Shiki ordered her to never die again. Now, we know everything's going to be different from now on as our heroes progress, and I'm curious how they're gonna meet Hamura, Pino, and the other shining stars. And with Young Wise, they might just meet him again back on Norma. And maybe Valkyrie is alive as well. I can tell how different it's going to be with our heroes from this chapter alone. Now in the last chapter, it shows a little bit of difference of how the story is going to progress. With Shiki and Rebecca getting their memories back. But this chapter is going to take it up a notch. And I am excited to see what's going to happen. They explain everything to Witch. And she chooses to assist them on their quest to find the rest of the crew. Later, during a bath scene, where which explains to Rebecca the effectiveness of the water of how it can draw out ether gear from within their bodies. But of course, Rebecca already knew that, as Witch asked her about her abilities restoring along with her memories. But then suddenly gets their answer as Rebecca loses control of her ether gear and goes flying up into the ceiling just like before. Then Shiki accidentally transported himself into the spa with Rebecca's <laughs> falling on his face. Hey, look at that! Another Shikra fan service panel! It's actually been a while since their shot came into the picture. Later, Witch is giving Rebecca a massage, and then she, Shiki, and Happy end up on planet Norma in search for Weiss and Pino. They end up finding Weiss at the place where they found him before, and surprise, his mother is there too, alive and well. Well, didn't expect that. Shiki grabbed the case from Weiss and opened it, revealing Pino. And both she and Weiss had their memories restored just like Shiki and Rebecca. Weiss also has restored memories of his mother's death as he runs up to her for an embrace. Such a beautiful moment. Weiss deserved that. Now next is Sister and Hamara. Next on the EZ ship, Pino and Weiss are happy to see Witch again. They hugged her as she is still confused as to why all these strangers she meets keep embracing her. I love the fact that she keeps her cool about it and just goes along. But that is to be expected from someone like her. Pino remembers everything about her previous life, along with the information of the Edens 1. Oh uh, yeah, we can't forget about the enemy that made Ziki go bad crazy. Anyways, Weiss and Shiki are having a conversation together in the spa, which I am okay with because it's always rare to see this type of fan service. Shiki asks Weiss why he came along when he could have just been with his mother, who is alive and well. Weiss sprayed him with the shower hose and said that his mother was the one who told him to go, and Weiss respected her. Another reason why he left was that he wanted to go with his friends. Also, Rebecca? What are you doing there? How did you get the bath timing wrong? Anyways, she heard their conversation and agreed to their terms about friendship and that their team will come together. After the bath scene, Happy was wondering why Witch doesn't remember from the previous universe. He don't answer that question with the knowledge that the only ones that remember were the ones that were on board the ship during the time jump, which includes Labilia and Couch Petto. Happy checked Labilia's video blog and noticed that she is the same as before, but maybe not for long. I am curious if Labilia 
and Calcetto will be reunited with the others. I guess time will tell. Anyways, Shiki and the crew made their way to the Gale's planet and found their way to Rogue Out where they find Sister Ivory. No, not the fake Sister Ivory, but the Sister Ivory they know and love as they are happy to see her again. But they also learn that Drake and Joe is on this planet and so is Hamura, who is in her mother's debt. Damn, even in this universe she's a greedy whore. Hamura just looks miserable here. And who can blame her? She's left to pay off her mother's debt by selling herself to Drake and Joe. Back to Shiki and the others, Sister doesn't remember the last world as she decided to punish them for not leaving because they are not customers of hers. Oh yeah, this rogue out is a place where Sister heals the weak and is actually the good guy. Sister summons a group of Moscow's but then realize they knew his name. As they become surrounded by them, and Rebecca ends up becoming Sister's plaything. Shiki blew all the Moscow's away with his gravity, and that was the trigger to Sister regaining her memories, and also the fact that her memories of the previous world were her training Rebecca, which contacts Sister and they are proud to see each other, as Sister explains that the fake Sister never showed herself. Therefore, doesn't exist as Sister runs a clinic for the injured and Drake and Joe is the enemy, as he was before, and instead of Rebecca becoming his prisoner, Hamra takes her place and the real Moscow is undercover to infiltrate the tower where many girls are kept in prison. You know the place where Rebecca and the other B-cubers were stripped of their clothes, turned into stones and used for furniture and accessories? Yeah, that place. And this time, Drake and Joe is the one running it instead of Frogman or fake Sister. Sister. As before, the women are stripped down, including Hamura, as Moscow takes action as order due to Sister's change of plan, and attacks Frogman here and willing to help the women escape. While Shiki and the others made their way to Drake and himself, but then wish to detect a sniper from the ship and use her protection to save them from the bullet. Now, how did Drake and discover their attack on them? Well, Sister is the one who told him and sandbagging him. <laughs> Really, sister? Really? Anyways, Wise activate Arsenal prototype and goes after the sniper. But then, this guy shows up underneath Rebecca as she gives him a good kick in the face, willing to deal with him and told Shiki to run ahead. Shiki and sister end up running into Jen and Clean. Sister decided to deal with them as Shiki once again runs ahead. But then, sister noticed something different about them. Clean is showing emotions. Which is odd since in the previous world, when they first met her, she was completely emotionless. How interesting. I wonder what they're like in this world. Shiki fights his way through the guards until he heard a voice and was attacked by a pool of water and runs into Nero? Which is another interesting surprise to say the least. But wait a minute, wasn't Laguna the element of water? And if Nero isn't the empire of the Hour Cosmos, then who is? Gravity. The same power as the Emperor? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Shira? Oh my god, it is Shira. Looks like he did take over as Emperor in this universe. And also while Shiki is fighting Nero, Pino knows that Shiki isn't using his full power. That's because she discovered that his body isn't equal to his current power from three years ago. So in other words, if he did manage to access that power from three years ago, he wouldn't be able to control it because of the imbalance, which is understandable. Remember during that one chapter when Shiki fell into the bathhouse after using the wormhole and discover he can't control it? This chapter explains the problem from that chapter, and it could be a problem for the others as well. Speaking of the others, Weiss is dealing with Eyepatch Natsu here, and seems to be having trouble with his suit, but then Witch called him and told him about her mislocation and plans on getting her back, while in the meantime, Rebecca is dealing with this guy. Even though she can't use the Cat Leaper, she does have other capabilities, such as her speed right? And also, I think she can use Reverse, which she discovered from Volume 14 when she was fighting that Britney chick. Also, she has her guns, so she should be in good hands. Well, until she gets trapped in vines, but I'm sure she'll find a way to get out of that. Back with Shiki's fight with Nero, Shiki wants to know the reason why he is working with Drake and Joe after retiring from Empire and giving his throne to Shira. Also, here's another bit of information I forgot to discuss earlier, and it has seen that Nero has 
has Laguna's water ability. But where is Laguna? Well, in this universe, he is the leader of the Rebel Army. Shiki was surprised about this information, and in the meantime, the girls from the prisons are getting away from the guards until Hamura tripped and fell until Moscow saved her. Here, it is discovered that Hamura in this universe has the power of the Aether Sword from Valkyrie, but not the courage that came with it. Which is kind of a bother, but well understood why she's like this. And it's not just the abandonment of her mother and leaving her in her debt. Something else happened that caused Hamura to behave like this. Meanwhile, sister is dealing with Jin and Clean and tries what she could to get their memories back. Rebecca is still trapped in the binds, only to get herself out by unlocking her overdrive, but not quite reliable since she loses her balance. Remember what Pino said in the last chapter? Their powers are imbalanced. Well, the same applies to Rebecca as Pino explains that problem to Happy as Rebecca gets tied up again. But don't worry, she managed to get herself out of that situation by using the gun she's been carrying around and took him down. Even with her hands tied and have no control over her ether gear, she can still kick some as long as she has her guns. Now we see Weiss dealing with Sniper Natsu here, or more like dealing with his bullets, as it seems like Weiss is getting shot from everywhere he goes. But to his surprise, he starts to get advice from a little android he knows and loves. That's right, Hermit is back, and she is back a lot faster than expected. Well, she's really not there, as it turns out that her body is still on digitis. God, I hate that volume. But this is more like an internet connection. She is video chatting with him now. At least, I think she is, but honestly, I can't explain what's going on here because I don't understand it and it's giving me a headache, so moving on. Harman explains that she got her memories back after seeing Witch and decided to help out Weiss while he's still getting blasted, as Hermit shows him a 3D marketing of where he's firing from. She explains that he's moving from place to place after firing around, and there's also drones disguised as bullets, but it's all a bluff to make him think that he's shooting from different locations when in truth, he's been staying in one spot, and Hermit ends up finding him by body temperature. Now that Weiss knows where he is and needs to find a way to get to him. But Hermit, oh wow, is that an Anya expression? What the hell is she cooking up? <laughs> Oh wait, never mind. So anyway, Hermit distracts the sniper with the hologram of Bunny Witch, but he saw the suit coming towards him and shoots it down, only to discover that it was empty as Weiss came up from behind him and took him down. Sister managed to take down Jin and Clean as they discover they have gained their memories in the middle of the battle. They told Sister to stop, but she just kept on going without realizing it. They are angry, but still happy to see her. Moscow started calling Sister and he started to gain some memories as well, and then he found out that Hamura is with the other girls, but she hasn't regained her memories back. Meanwhile, Shiki is dealing with Nero and recognize that Shiki's power is similar to Ziki and learn it's his grandson. And also, get this, he is given Shiki advice how to unlock the power within, but Shiki told him that he can't use overdrive due to this era because his body is too weak for it due to his age. Even though he was around this age when he first unlocked unlock the overdrive. Remember back to the chapter when he was facing Drake and Joe for the second time? He was around that same age. So why can't he do it here? In fact, all the other members obtained overdrive during that era, except for Rebecca. We didn't see her overdrive until after the three year time skip. Or she got in much earlier, but it was off screen, but this is all the proof I have. So anyways, Nero keeps giving advice to Shiki while they fight, and Shiki brought up the idea about how to awaken the overdrive drive by reaching a critical point in the ether. There is more than one form, and with this information, Shiki takes on a form that he can use in the state and takes down Nero with the form of... Ziki? Okay. Alright, I can take it. After all, these two are one of the same, so why not? After defeating Nero, this is when Shiki learned about Shira in this universe, and also meets Drake and Joe, and Shiki decided to do the one thing we all know he wants to do. He wants to become friends with both Draken and Shira. Yep, typical Shiki. I should have seen this coming a long time ago. I'm not sure what the creator is cooking up here, but it's not as bad as I think it is. Who knows? Well then everyone, thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, you can subscribe to this channel and you can also hit that notification button for more updates on my newest videos. And don't forget, you can check me out on Twitter, TikTok, and Discord. And I'll see you all in the next video. RoseRed17, out.